update two, probably the bigger one that everybody is wondering about is this little guy right here, Booking Action Auto. That is right, everybody. We have officially launched fully automatic booking into the calendar. So as of today, um, it is available in beta. So that means it's available to everybody, but it is liable sometimes to break. Um, and I'll talk about what that means, but we've seen pretty good success rate so far with our own testing and it is putting me right into the calendar. So if I go look at my own contact here, um, you can see we've been, I've been testing it back and forth quite a bit. My integration expired a while ago. I'm just, I don't need the messages to come back, but it knows what days and times to offer. And then whenever I confirm an appointment, you can see <laughs> these have all been booked by the bot. So to say I've put it through a few tests it would be an understatement. It's definitely been through the ringer a few times and it seems to be working pretty well. Uh, I think we've accounted for most of the edge cases. Um, so I know a lot of you have been waiting for that. A lot of you have been asking for that. So it is fully available as of today. All you have to do to enable it, you just need to include, keep going on page. you just need to include booking action. So booking underscore action and it needs to be auto. So you just need to have it set here to auto, all underscore, please always do everything underscore with these like system values and stuff like that. Um, Cause we haven't gone through and fully type checked everything yet, we're getting there. But if you put booking action to auto, it will automatically put the uh, appointment for the day and time that has been described into the calendar for that contact. And it will use the calendar the same way it reads the calendar. So whichever calendar it's reading from, that's the calendar it's going to add the appointment to. A couple of things with this. First thing is if the appointment gets booked, the bot does not respond. So we're going to eventually have a way for you guys to change that to where you can have the bot actually send its confirmation message. But right now we want to be as like least intrusive as possible to your current automation setup. So um, we are not sending any message once the appointment is booked. It's just going to show up in the calendar. And then from there, it's up to you guys to run the automation. If you want to run an automation that still uses the webhook, what I would recommend is having like another workflow, um, which this I can actually, I can add to the uh, snapshot. So I'll just go ahead and go to the snapshot account real quick. As you can say, uh, create from scratch and you'll say appointment uh, status. I always go off of status is normal, I guess. Okay, appointment status is confirmed. And then from there, what we'll do is we'll do another webhook. And we'll say that it's a post and we'll send it to the same request URL. So systems .us slash gpt3. And then in the custom data, we'll add all of our stuff, except in this case, we'll make the task. It can be custom for this, for this task. And then in the prompt, we'll have like an appointment confirmation prompt. So it's like you, oh, sorry. Hold on, my computer's falling down. You are, you know, Custom values dot assistant name. And you are confirming the appointment that has been booked by contact at first, or let's just say contact name. They have booked it for, and then this is where you can include the appointment information. So it's like appointment. I don't know. So I don't know which one of these. They have them all formatted differently. So you'll have to kind of go through here. I think it's probably like day of the week, comma, and then I don't even know. Some It's one of these. It's like appointment start date time. Play around with them. They're all kind of, I think it's the appointment start date time. Um, you might not need both of these, but the big thing to know about these is that these values don't populate unless the trigger for this workflow is exactly the appointment action. So it has to be that the appointment was booked, appointment status was updated, it was canceled, something like that happened. The triggering event has to include the appointment. If it doesn't, if you just try to add them to it based off of a tag being added or something like that, 
it's not going to include any of the appointment information. And I've seen this error enough times to confidently tell you that that is the case. <laughs> if it's fixed, let me know. But the last time I checked, that's still the case. So, um, but this prompt can just say whatever you wanted to say about you should reach out to them. Like you should send them a message confirming their appointment, letting them know the next steps and telling them if they have any questions or anything like that. And then the AI will generate the message or you can just hard code the message like a good old fashioned you know, appointment reminder campaign of just send the message. Hey, your appointment is confirmed, you know, keep it simple, whatever, do your thing. But all in all summary, it's going to go into the calendar now. <laughs> and that's really exciting for me anyway. So if you guys are excited, put a yay in the chat or something, just validate me a little bit and help me, help me feel a little better on this Friday afternoon. <laughs>